again, it's Jay with Stiletto Media Group. Today I'm going to be telling you about submitting your website to DMOZ. DMOZ, also known as the Open Directory Project, is one of the places that Google goes to to find new and updated websites to crawl. It is not easy to get listed on DMOZ because it's human moderated, which means after you submit your website, an actual human being will visit your website and make sure that it should be added to the directory and added to the category that you've submitted it to. Your chances of getting listed increase if you place your website in the correct category. Today, I'm going to show you how to submit your website to DMOZ. And as always, if you have any questions about this vidbit, feel free to contact me at www.stilettomediagroup.com. Okay, let's begin. First, we're going to navigate to the DMOZ website, which is located at www.dmoz.org. Here you can see the website. It's very plain, but don't get it twisted. DMOZ is very important to Google, so you want to be added to this directory. Trust me. Now we need to find out the correct category to place our website in. This is going to take a bit of time because I find the best way to ensure you get added is to not only find the best category, but to find a category that currently has a human editor. Not all categories have current editors, and if you submit to a category that does not currently have an editor, you run the risk of not getting listed or having being listed, but having it take a very, very long time. So we're looking for two things today. We're looking for a relevant category that has an editor. Our example website today is www.cookingwithdenae.com. Cookingwithdenae.com is a website that provides information for home-based bakers and cooks. The first thing we want to do is make sure that this website is not already in the system. So we're going to search for it by typing Cooking with Denae in the search box. It doesn't lead into any results. Just to be on the safe side, we'll go ahead and add the website as well. Cooking with Danae.com. New search. Still does not produce any results. So we'll return to the home page. We know that cooking with Danae has to do with cooking. So under the home category, we'll click cooking. Now, while there are um, websites under this, and we have a category editor, actually, we've got three down here. If you scroll to the top, there's no submit button, which means this category is not allowing me to submit um, websites. So let's go ahead and click, hmm, weblogs, because this website includes a great blog on baking and cooking. There are websites listed under here. And if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see there is a category editor. That's great. Scroll up to the top, suggest URL. So we've got a great category and the category has an editor. But just to be on the safe side, is there any other category that we would fit into? Food writers. Danae also writes food articles in addition to her blogs. This might be a great place too. And there are only five websites here. Great. There's a suggest a URL link at the top. Oh, but there's no editor. You see down here it says volunteer to edit this category. That means there is no human editor for this category. And submitting a website to this category may or may not get this website listed. I say, let's go back to weblogs. This is the perfect place. So we'll go ahead and suggest this URL. The form is very simple, just as simplistic as the website DMOZ itself. You'll scroll down and you'll insert the site URL here and what type of URL it is. It's just a regular website so we'll keep that 
Stop Radio button. Here, you're going to enter the name of the site. Now, they give you a lot of to-do and not-to-do items on this page. Pay very close attention to what you can and cannot do. If you do something that they ask you not to, you will not be accepted on the directory. So make sure you pay attention to the rules. The site description area is pretty simple. I would suggest creating a short, sweet, to the point description of what your website is about. You see here that it says no longer than 25 to 30 words and they mean that. Keep it short but make sure you're using those strong keywords and make sure it's completely relevant to your website. Next you'll add your email address and type in the user verification which would be whatever is shown in the image here. Once you're done you look at the submission agreement, read through it, click on the terms of use, read through those just to make sure that your website can be listed and then click submit. It's just that simple. I would suggest wait a couple weeks and then check back. Do another search like we did in the beginning for your site. If it's not there, check back every few weeks and if it's not been added within six months, do another search to find out if there's a better category that you would be able to add your site to. It's difficult getting listed in DMOS, but trust me when I say it's well worth it.